morning. COVID cases continuing to rise in most of the country, up 26 percent in just two weeks. And the uh, question is, are we actually in a better position to fight the virus today than a year ago? I think the answer to that is yes, but there's a lot of details in there. Dr. Scott Gottlieb joins us this morning, former FDA commissioner, CMC contributor. He also serves on the boards of Pfizer and Illumina. Scott, it's great to see you. Uh, we are clearly seeing this uptick across the country, uh, some of which seems to be a mutant version of both Omicron and Delta to some degree. My question to you is this new uh, vaccine that's going to come out in the fall, and we talked about this with, with, with Albert Burla a little bit, is this vaccine going to be game-changing at all insofar as it's going to uh, impact or at least prevent infection? Because ultimately, we're never truly going to be able to get, uh, get along with our lives the way we did, say, two or three years ago until we get to that point. You know, just on the first point about the cases across the country, um, you're right, cases are going up when you look at the national average, although they may be plateauing right now when you look at the curves. But in the Northeast, which was the first part of the country to experience this B2 wave and this new variant B2.121, cases are actually going down. So we've probably peaked here in the Northeast. If you look at the two-week average of cases in New York, they're down 6 percent. Connecticut's down 14 percent. Massachusetts is down 6 percent. So we're seeing cases come down here. The question, I think, is whether or not the rest of the country is going to experience the same wave of infection that we experienced in the Northeast, or it's going to start to dissipate as the weather warms. And there's two schools of thoughts on it, thought on that. As far as the vaccine is concerned, we have to see what the data shows. Um, you know, they're looking right now at whether or not the antibodies produced by that new variant vaccine, which is based on the B1 Omicron variant, neutralizes effectively the B2 variant and the B4 and B5 variant. We should have data soon. Um, I'm hopeful that this vaccine is going to afford a higher degree of protection against these new variants than the existing vaccine does. And I base that assumption just on looking at some of the clinical data coming out of South Africa in particular, where when we look at the, um, the antibodies produced by individuals who've been vaccinated with the previous vaccine and then subsequently had a breakthrough B1 Omicron infection, their antibodies do seem to neutralize pretty well the B4 and B5 variant as well as the B2 variant. So that that natural experience of those patients should be simulated by a vaccine that contains both the ancestral strain, the existing strain, as well as the B1 Omicron strain. But do you think we're going to get, I mean, if you recall at the very beginning of this, when the first vaccine came out and there was this sort of Goldilocks period where, you know, the, the idea was that 90 percent of people were able to prevent infection from Delta, then, of course, things changed. Right. The question, your question is, are we going to get back to the, that 90 percent level? So right now, I think the, the data would suggest that the vaccine is probably 30 to 40 percent protective against infection. So it's affording some measure of protection. You're right. Initially, when the vaccine first came out, uh, it was ni about 90 percent protective against infection and transmission. I think we're going to land somewhere in between that, hopefully at the higher end of that range. I doubt we get back to the 90 percent that we achieved with the initial vaccine because these new variants do inherently have more immune escape uh, and they're continuing to evolve. It's not just one variant right now. The, the vaccine is based on the B1 Omicron variant. Right now we're contending with B2, which has more escape and including, you know, from people who've had B1 infection as well as B4 and B5. So I, I do believe we'll get higher levels of protection against infection and transmission and may, maybe meaningfully higher levels than what we're currently achieving with the existing vaccine against these variants. I do not believe we'll get back to 90 percent, but it's certainly possible. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.